Hello, Mario Vlogs, number 270, Batbar. Hello, hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. Well, the other day I took a bit of a look at my lawn mower that I would got fixed, um, the mulching mower, and I mentioned that I had the backup mower, Battler. Well, today it's Battler's turn. Battler takes on anything. He's a typical battler. Nothing. He'll just keep going and going and get get the job done. So I've done a little video of Battler. I've been out and taken a tour of him. So uh, let's have a look at that video and uh, take a closer look at good old Battler. All right. So this here is Battler. And uh, here he is, you can see he's a just a pretty standard sort of mower, not, not too flash, he's got a steel body, just pretty average sort of legs, a nice reasonable sort of motor, although all the signage is pretty much all off there. He's got a little bit of a sign here that um, says... Boxer. I don't know what that means, but uh, anyway, he's uh, there. So if we have a look around, he's uh, designed to actually. Um, oops, we've lost him a bit there. Uh, let's see if we can bring him back this way. He's designed to. Oh, here's a point of view. Divide designed to have a a um, definitely have a catcher on the back. Although we tend to use in mulching, in mulching mode. And then around this side here, he's got uh, just all the usual bits and pieces there. Um, exhaust out that side. Uh, oil on this side. Petrol there. And uh, what have you. Now, um, okay, so let's have a look at some of the modifications that we've done. Yeah, so um, in New Zealand here we have what we call the number eight wire philosophy. So I've got a bit of, well, it could be eight gauge wire, but it's not. It's actually a bit of um, aluminium wire from the middle of a um, power cable. I find it's very nice and flexible and easy to use. And so if we zoom in on that, we can see that that's been used there just in the back there just to hold it up a little bit um, like so and um, so that we can uh, adjust the size of the opening so um, by just uh, you know this wire is very flexible here so we can like pull it up and down and it that it bends at will it's great stuff to have around the old aluminium wire and then we can uh, we can bend that uh, is in when we need it so that's that adjustment there so that's my um, thing to the number what we call the number eight wire philosophy now down in here this is the controls um, initially we had a, um, a cable that ran from about there and came up the handle at some point and that's where we uh, controlled um, the, the throttle from. But that um, broke and then we went to this uh, little jury rig here that um, we got a lawnmower salesman to, um, a lawnmower serviceman to fix up for us. The wire used to come through here, but that eventually broke. So now I've reverted round to this little deal here with a bit of steel tying wire. I always have a bit of steel tying wire handy so that can that can be adjusted like that you see like that can be there and then you put the throttle out there and then it's full noise in through there like that and every now and again the um, the bit of wire breaks and we have to replace it with another bit of steel tying wire but I've got a fair bit of that around. Now also then at some point the uh, 
the pull cord here used to come um, up from there and through this uh, little thing here and the handle was there and you would start it from there but that uh, that sort of broke off a little bit there as well so what I've done is I've just tied a knot a knot in here like so and then we put this uh, put this through here and um, yeah hold that in there and pull the cord and uh, hopefully good old battler starts and uh, so yeah battler is um yeah it's been used to break in all sorts of bits of section and long grass and stuff like that so he sort of had a pretty hard life but it's managed it and then the various um, kids have uh, left home and gone into flats and battlers battlers traveled into the flats on occasion to mow the lawn at the end of the tenancy or at various times so he's had a few little trips away uh, to various places but he's always uh, returned here for his duty and is usually performed um, quite adequately actually pretty reasonable so what I'm going to do now is um, try and uh, see if I can start Battler and uh, see if we can get him uh, get him operational he he's, um, probably needs a bit of a tune up at the moment but uh, We'll see what we can do, see if we can get him started and just give a give a few revs just to um, prove that he does uh, still go. So just uh, we'll see how this goes. I haven't, um, this could take a while as he's going from dead cold. So, um, yep, all right, let's see how that goes. All right, so in here and we keep this like this. That in there like that, and um, like so. Yeah, so there you have it. There's old Battler. Started up pretty well. Um, chops through the grass. Doesn't do the best of jobs. <laughs> but uh, always there, always ready. And uh, displaying some uh, good Kiwi traits there. The uh, number eight wire mentality. Where we fix everything up with bits of wire and safety pins and uh, the old bit of tying wire there so he still manages to keep going probably doesn't sound the best probably needs a tune-up but uh, I took the other uh, Mr Mulching mower in the other day and uh, yeah <laughs> I don't think Battler will be getting a tune-up anytime soon but uh, yeah he's our go-to mower and as I said when the kids um, Went out to various flats and things. Battler went along with them and uh, helped mow the lawns there. But he always uh, returns back here to his home base to uh, always be there as a backup. And uh, never really, never really let us down. Um, we've scavenged parts from him for the other mower and then found them and lost them and bought them back. But uh, yeah, does a really good job. So uh, yeah, I give you Battler. So that was Battler. He's a great lawnmower and does a sterling job. Never lets me down. And uh, it's been lent out and been all sorts of places, Battler. And he just comes back for more. A marvellous, marvellous mower. Sometimes you get more than what you pay for. And Battler's a good example of that. So let's uh, move on with the vlog and have a look at today's background. And um, I'm afraid our Aussie viewers are going to be at a bit of advantage today. But uh, 
it's uh, this guy here um, is our background today and um, hopefully they can tell me who he is and what character he's playing. He's playing a character here and how that character uh, relates um, to today's theme of battler. So, uh, yeah, the name of the actor and the character, I think, and the relationship with the, the lawnmower. Some of you uh, may know it, but uh, it's, uh, the Aussies should have a, a fairly, a bit of an advantage on this one, but uh, you never know. You never know. Alrighty, so that, um, let's have a look at uh, the Hall of Fame from yesterday, which was number 269. And it was this guy here. Now, this guy here is Imran Khan. Uh, he's a Pakistani cricketer. He was captain of the Pakistani team. But in cricket, he's considered to be an all-rounder. And he is one of the top all-rounders in the world, actually, over time. So an all-rounder is a guy that can bat and bowl and field. So he does everything pretty well. Um, but he's not a, a specialist batsman or a specialist, field, a specialist fielder, or um, a specialist bowler. But Imran Khan did all those things pretty well. Um, so, so he got a, took a large number of wickets and uh, got a, a, some pretty um, a large number of runs and uh, took some catches and things like that. So it's pretty good. But then he, he moved on from there, and he's now um, a, moved on from a cricketer, and he's now a politician. Um, so he's um, quite, uh, quite, quite a big noise in political circles in Pakistan. So um, he's a bit of a, a, a an all rounder in all things that he'll have a go at anything. So um, that was the connection there. A bit of this, a bit of that, an all rounder. And uh, Moz was able to come up with uh, Imran Khan. So uh, yeah, he gets uh, a place on the Hall of Fame. Um, figuring up there quite a bit so um yeah well done to moz so let's uh just go back again to good old battler here and uh just pay tribute to him and uh i've been out um on the live streams today and i've um met a few new subscribers and things so welcome to my channel and uh hopefully i'll do you justice and get get down and see some of your videos and comment and like and and what have you so um i'm looking forward to get out and about but uh i must say my first priority is to get my um my vlogs out uh to my viewers and then uh with any available time i've got i use that to uh, answer comments and get out and about and have a look at other people's channels and videos and uh and just, uh, you know, help out where I can. Support the community. So uh, thanks to everyone. Appreciate uh, your efforts. And um, yeah, all good. Cheers. See you.